In this video, we're going to talk about the crankshaft position sensor on my Porsche Boxster. What was happening was the car was not starting when it was warmed up. So I'd start it cold, fine, drive for a little bit, get the car nice and warmed up, and then when I'd go back out to start it, it wouldn't start. After a while, after a cool down, it would start again. What was happening when the car wouldn't start is it would crank, it would crank just fine, it would start, and then would die immediately. So you could tell that it wasn't a dead battery or a immobilizer problem or something going on with the, the interrupting the starter because it would crank just fine, it would start, and then would die immediately. What it turned out to be was a crankshaft position sensor. It was not happy when it warmed up. These are the tools you need to replace the sensor. It's only held on by one five millimeter cap head screw. You'll need a three eighths inch drive ratchet with long extensions and a five millimeter Allen head socket a screwdriver to help you with the electrical connector possibly. It is the most difficult part of the job. Whatever you need to take the wheel off, 19 millimeter socket and a jack and a jack stand. When I replaced mine, the cap head screw was stripped. So I needed a Torx and a hammer and I pounded it in there and then backed it out that way. So I recommend that you take a flashlight, look inside that cap head screw, make sure that it's clean, then use a pick if necessary to clean that cap head screw out. The sensor is located between the transmission and the engine on the passenger side of the car. You access it by removing the right rear wheel. This is what the sensor looks like. There's the hole for the cap head screw. It goes into the car. Electrical connector. There's a push down here and then it snaps. There are little, little clips that hold it to the engine as well. If you Google the crankshaft position sensor, you'll see on the forums some great pictures of its location and of how the electrical connector is held onto the car. The sensor is located right in there. It's a straight shot, not very difficult, and it's really easy to change. The hard part is the electrical connector. I hope you found the video useful and hopefully it fixes your no start problem. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Have a great day.